A D S R Pro. Hi guys, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. We're continuing looking at Halion 6 and basically I thought we'd um, do a little bit more on wavetable synthesis and see what we can come up with. So, as per usual, let's drag a program across, go to our program tree, add Simpson and wavetable. Now what we'll use is, we'll actually use the inbuilt wavetables within Halion to start with. So let's shut all of those down, including the filter go to our wavetable so there's a basic sign let's just go to oscillate 2 and turn that one off so we've just got the single wavetable and let's just go to let's try one shot we want something nice I've put some chords in the background so let's just play those and see what sounds nice for something with a little bit of modulation in there. That'll do. So there's a little bit of modulation in the sound. Go and put a filter on that. And let's go to our filter envelope and manipulate it a little bit. Should of course go back to the filter and add uh, an amount of envelope. Okay, so let's add another oscillator to this and try and get something a little bit more complex. So I'll go to animation, I'll select loop alternative this time and let's just pick something else. I'm going to turn the first oscillator off so we can hear what the second one's doing. Okay, and play those chords again. detune to this one. Give the oscillator back in. one 
So there you go. There's a little bit of modulation on each waveform. It you know creates for a little bit more excitement. And again, we can obviously spend a little bit more time uh, in the mod matrix assigning different things. So let's go to LF41, for instance, and wavetable. Let's go to wavetable one, and let's go to let's try formant shift, and let's just make sure formant's on. And let's go back and apply a little bit of that one. And let's just solo the first oscillator again so we can hear what we're doing. Go to our LFO and I'll sync it to tempo. Let's turn that down a little bit. A bit of pan. Again, let's try something with with table two. Okay, so there you can hear we've got some quite interesting textures going on. You know, the amp envelope is controlling the amount of detune for wavetable one and two, and LFO is altering the uh, formant of wavetable one and pan, and same again with wavetable two. So you can hear we can just, you know, create some real interesting sounds and modulations. And there's nothing stopping us there. I mean, we haven't got any effects on this. All this is is just basically two basic waveforms within the wavetable. So we could obviously apply step modulation, MIDI arpeggiation, and all such as that. But let's just go to our program bus and just put a few effects on it just to make it sound a bit bigger. 
so a standard sort of reverb and delays etc um, in fact let's have a modulation let's have a let's have a bit of chorus on there as well and listen to that now So there you go, you can see really interesting sounds are available within the Wavetable Synth Engine. And don't forget, we have just used two basic waveforms. Of course, you can import your own waveforms and samples into um, the Sound Engine, into the Wavetable Synth. And you've also got another sub oscillator there and noise. So again, you can even back it up and make it a little bit more powerful. in that so you can hear really really powerful and again this is just one engine layer as many as you like Halion 6 definitely a synth that is gonna take on the world I think uh, very similar to um, Falcon UVI Falcon and also basically it's contact you know and to be honest rolled into one package so if you like what I do please do subscribe to my channel and until next time bye bye A D S R Pro